Yankees fans, how's it going? And the Yankees fans overseas, specifically La República Dominicana, Puerto Rico, etc. Welcome to this channel. And hola, como estas? Hashtag hola, como estas? How do you like your Yankees news? Oh yeah, bright and early before anybody. So Yankees fans, if you had to pick, let's say, the reincarnation of Andy Pennant, who was amazing for the Yankees come playoff time, who the Yankees were absolutely in love with. At one point, George Steinbrenner did want to trade him, but he stuck to his guns and said, hey, let's just give him a chance, and the rest is history. Every Yankees fan out there was devastated when Andy Pennant decided that he was going to the Houston Astros. But it wasn't for long that the Yankees decided to rekindle their love relationship with Andy Pennant. And you saw, at an old age, he helped the Yankees win the World Series in 2009. And who else loves Andy Pennant? <laughs> Alex Rodriguez. That guy loves that guy. But if you had basically a clone of Andy Pennant with a higher K rate, and he became available for $12 million, a rental basically, would you pull the trigger? I would. The Yankees have indicated that they would trade for a rental. They already tried to trade for Paul Goldschmidt of the D-backs. And the most intriguing thing about Madison Bumgarner is he's only 29 years of age. And the naysayers are saying, oh, his K rate is down. He's been injured, injury prone. Oh, no, those were freak accidents that the first one he did to himself. And then the second one, he got hit by a line drive. So, yes, I would trade for Madison Bumgarner. People are just reading his stats saying, oh, this guy's been injured. But come on, stop being lazy. Research why he was injured. If you are a MLB fan, you would have known he was injured because he fell off of his dirt bike or something like that the first time and shattered his ribs or something. Then the second time he got hit with a line drive. So don't give me that saying that he's injury prone when he really injured himself. And it wasn't something like, oh, yeah, he was throwing a ball and his shoulder popped out or something like that. No, it was freak accidents. Madison Bub Gardner will reach the 200K mark yet again because he's only 29 years of age. Don't give me all that stuff about velocity, etc. He has been injured for the last two seasons. Give him time. So the Yankees have a perfect opportunity to find their answers via the trade marker rather than going to free agency. Because in 2020, the 2020 class is as good as the 2019 free agent class. You're going to have Arenado, you're going to have Jeanette, you're going to have all these pitchers as well. Madison Bumgarner, etc. So luckily for the Yankees, the Giants love Albert Abreu of the Yankees. They love him. They've been trying to trade for him for years now. So the asking price for Bumgarner has been that the Giants want a, let's say, a top-of-the-line pitcher in return. It doesn't have to be, let's say, MLB-ready pitcher, just one that they can develop into, let's say, an ace or could have ace-caliber stuff one day. And the Yankees have a wide variety of those types of pitchers. They have Herman, they have Loisiga, they have Albert Abreu. I could see if the Yankees do engage the Giants, they're going to put a package of, let's say, mid-level prospects with one high-level prospect and see if the Giants bite. And yes, in my opinion, Madison Bumgarner does sound way better than Patrick Corbin. But with Patrick Corbin, if the Yankees do acquire him, you're going to have him for years. But with Madison Bumgarner, he is basically a rental. But like I said, he's still young and the Yankees could possibly engage him for 2020 and beyond. Bumgarner has already won the World Series three times. World Series MVP in 2014, four-time All-Star. I mean, it really doesn't get better than that, and the asking price doesn't seem off the roof with what the Giants are asking for. So don't dismiss Madison Bumgarner being a Yankee because that was the number one priority of Yankees fans for maybe two seasons now of acquiring Madison Bumgarner. Yankees fans absolutely love him. And rightfully so, his playoff numbers are great. It's basically going back in time and having Andy Pennant with a higher K rate on your team. So Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Do you like the idea of the Yankees at least engaging the Giants for Madison Bumgarner? You know, my opinion, I would love for the Yankees to try to do that. Like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from mynews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time. Falling down, you have Let's go.